Hey what's up guys it's Repeat back with another quick video for you um, The eagle eyed amongst you may have noticed that I have a new flag just there uh, The American flag has gone, uh, it's not any sort of political anti-Trump statement Anything like that, no none of that crap, I'm not a political person uh, It's basically because I believe I mentioned it in a previous video When there was a little flag on the, the, the wall behind me That um, I'm actually of Polish descent, my granddad was Polish so that's just my little way of sort of remembering my roots and remembering my granddad. Not that I need anything like that to remember him, obviously, but, you know, it was just um, something that I decided to put up. So uh, those two flags there pretty much sum up my lineage. I'm British with Polish blood in me. So, yeah, I'm quite Polish. So that's my little way of uh, sort of remembering uh, my roots. So on with the video. Uh, there's a few little bits to show you. Uh, few DVDs and a couple of other little bits and bats so without further ado I'll get on with it and I'll start off with the DVDs uh, first up is best of 2014 the E3 disca um, which I bought new off eBay I've watched a bit of it and it's really good uh, next up are a load of pay-per-view events that I got from HMV and um, they were doing an offer you could buy five for 20 pound and um, so I bought five uh, first up is payback 2016 um, next up is Money in the Bank 2016, which is the night where technically all three Shield members were world champion. And basically, obviously, we all know Dean Ambrose cashed in on Seth Rollins and worked out champion, which made me very happy. Uh, next up is Extreme Rules 2016, and then there was the Beast in the East event that they did. Uh, I don't know if this is actually from 2016, it's 2015, is that one? Sorry. Um, I wasn't overly like blown away by that event, it's my I got it for the Finn Balor and Kevin Owens NXT match. And then last but by no means least is SummerSlam 2016, which I thought was a decent pay-per-view. So excuse me, I can feel this knees quick. Yeah, which I thought was a decent pay-per-view, so I grabbed that one. Uh, up next is a little something that um, I got the other week, we were down in Smith's Toys and we ended up looking at Funko Pops for some reason and I think they're going to become a massive family addiction for all of us. Uh, my eldest stepson, he's got a few Funko Pops. Uh, my little girl, she wants some. And my little boy, I've seen a load that he likes. My girlfriend already has two. I think she's got Daryl Dixon and Baby Groot. So, obviously she's into them. And I've got my first, which has already given me the itch for more. And I would also at this point like to mention um, my friend Belt Mark Bill over in the States who has his own YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, check him out. He does some great videos. He's recently posted a video of his uh, mini Funko Pop wrestlers. And I really need some of those in my life. So thank you, Bill. You're going to get me into even more trouble off by my girlfriend when I start buying those. But first up, like I said, is my first Funko Pop to my collection. And it is, you can see for the glare, Kevin Owens. Uh, hopefully the first of many I've already spotted a few more that I'd really like and found somewhere local that sells them so the addiction has well and truly begun um, on with the rest of the merch first up um, are a couple of items I bought at um, events that I went to first up is my AJ Styles baseball cap that I bought when I went to see um, WWE in Sheffield uh, luckily we got to see the Smackdown uh, roster it was the first time I've ever seen AJ Styles wrestle. I've been a fan of him for years. Um, I got goosebumps when his music played. Um, we got to see Shinsuke Nakamura in ring. And that was amazing because it was only recently I've been watching his stuff from New Japan. And, and prior to him signing with WWE, and it was just like, this is just surreal. I'm actually getting to see this guy. I've just sort of really got an appreciation for his stuff in Japan. And I'm getting to see him wrestle live. Uh, and then I went to NXT... Um, a couple of weeks ago there will be a video coming up of that I'm just sort of finding the time to put the photos from my phone onto my computer, put it all together as a video and then I will upload it um, it's just been a case of I've had a lot of stuff to do and I've not had much time, I've been working and um, everything else like that And so I've had a lot of, a lot of stuff to do as regards my, my channel and not much time to do it in, so I do apologise that there's been very little comment and, uh, content sorry and I have had sort of internet issues as well um, recently. I had an argument with my supplier uh, who I switched to. So I cancelled my contract with them. So I've gone back to the supplier I was with previously. Um, so I had to wait for everything to get sorted out and everything. So, But I'm back up and running now. So 
everything is good to go. Uh, so yeah, I digress, sorry about that. Uh, next up is another baseball cap, because I like some caps, and that is uh, the NXT one. I, oh no, I didn't get this from the event, sorry, I got this from the £5 Friday on Euroshop. Um, they were selling this at the event for £25, and I pointed out to my friend who I was with that I got that exact same baseball cap for £20 cheaper the other week on £5 Friday. Sticking with the £5 Friday, uh, here is the other item I bought. I only bought two. I didn't go over the, over the, you know, mentally on it. I could have done, but I probably would have ended up spending a lot of money for just the sake of it. And I thought, there's two items I really want. I'll get them for now and then see what happens in future ones. Uh, but I got myself a new t-shirt because you can never have too many t-shirts. And I got the Vard Villains, quite manly one. The little Vard Villains logo on the back. I love the Vard Villains. I absolutely thought they were brilliant on NXT, but... Unfortunately, it was another case of rush him up to the main roster and then have absolutely nothing for him. So obviously, and then obviously uh, Simon Gotch, uh, whatever happened, uh, lost him his job. So you know. But anyway, moving on, uh, we're going non WWE now. Uh, we're going to um, a lot of people. Obviously, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, will know that I'm a Bullet Club fan. I am recently getting more into New Japan as it is a better option than WWE just lately because WWE just seems to be churning out the same crap. Um, so I have been watching a hell of a lot more. I've not been watching the weekly shows but I've been watching more of the pay-per-views and I'm getting a massive, massive appreciation for pretty much 80-90% of the New Japan roster. I, I just think all of them are great and there are so many people that I like on there. Um, and there's a couple of factions that obviously you're not supposed to like rivaling factions but you know, I love Bullet Club. I've done for a long time, and uh, I'm, I'm quite like the uh, Chaos faction as well. But uh, I've stuck with what I know, t-shirts wise, and I've got a t-shirt that's not been out that long. As soon as it was available, I jumped on it, um, and that is the Mighty Girl Villain Club t-shirt. There you go. Obviously, from him joining Bullet Club and replacing Adam Cole. Baby, who is supposedly signing with NXT, which I'm looking forward to if he hasn't already turned up. Because like I said, no, I've had no incense, I've had no network or anything. And obviously, that's a little bullet club logo on the side. And last but not least is um, my PS to resist Onsen, so on and so forth. And it is my bullet club arising hoodie. There you go. That's the back. Obviously, that's that's the front. It's not zipped up. Yeah, it's a little bullet club for life logo there and then on the sleeves it has a little uh, bullet club force if you can see that little uh, logo there so yeah uh, I refuse to wear this in rain I don't want it getting wet I nearly wore it the other day but it was raining and then it would come in sunny and I didn't want it getting scorched so but yeah I'm ready for that for the winter on the dry days because like I said I don't want it getting wet um, and I have to show two more things. The, I didn't buy these. Uh, my daughter bought me these. Um, she was coming home from school with her mum, and they were walking past one of the uh, the charity shops up Town Street, and she saw them. And off her own back, she went in and bought me them um, with her own pocket money. And I I think it was just a really cute thing to do. Um, she got me uh, two of the WWE brawling buddies. She says to him, "Why do you think you like them?" She went, "It's wrestling. He's bound to like them." So she got me Cena and Mysterio. Uh, so I have these two and... Yeah, <laughs> that was a fun. Um, yeah, 38 and bashing two little wrestlers together. But that's what they're there for. But yeah, um, so if you're watching this pagan, because uh, I know she does watch my videos, which is why I have to try and watch my language. Thank you very much for those. Those are awesome. Um, so that'll do it, that's pretty much uh, all my new stuff um, you may have noticed I'm rocking my old school ECW t-shirt no reason why, I just picked it out of the wardrobe and thought I just feel like you know, it's an ECF in W day um, I may watch some later on actually now, I've got my network back up but yeah, uh, that'll do it for me guys um, until next time when I have uh, I have something coming um, so what I'm going to do is wait till that arrives and then I will uh, do a video on that and I'll either upload it straight away or it might actually arrive today so I'll have to wait and see if it arrives today I might do the video today and then post it up another day um, so it just depends on when it arrives but uh, yeah as for now guys that'll do it that's all my wrestling merch for now 
Um, payday is only around the corner, so who knows? There might be some more Funko Pops. There'll probably be some more DVDs on the way. Maybe some more T-shirts. Who knows? So, uh, as always, uh, take it easy, guys. Look after yourselves, and that'll do it for me for now. So, I will catch you next time.